Welcome to Missing the Mark, where we look for meaning in strange places. I'm Christopher. Hi, this is just a quick video about the concept of scientific morality, uh, which is something I've seen in a number of cases, either directly, it actually came up in a video I, I addressed very early on in this channel, uh, or um, it also comes about if a person's into the idea of some sort of scientism where the only way to get knowledge is through science, if something like that is the case, then of course, well, the only way you could have morality is by having a scientific morality. You know, and there are variants of this, and I'm not giving an exhaustive description. But anyway, I just wanted to, to go over briefly why there can't be, in practice, such a thing as a scientific morality. And, uh, okay, so the first one is, well, it's, it's theory and practice, really. But the, the practical problem, to begin with, is that it would be utterly unethical to conduct many of the experiments required. So let's say, you know, as part of our scientific morality, is rape bad? Okay, so we'll have two groups of people, a control group who we don't rape, and then the uh, test group who we do rape, and, well, okay, here's the problem. You're not getting this past a human subject review board. Um, you're not. And, uh, you know, similarly, the, the, you know, if you want to see the, the effect on the rapist, you know, the control group who doesn't rape anyone, and then the group who then does go and rape people, and again, well, you're not getting that past in HSRB. Um, there are experiments that you could run, uh, that you could get past an HSRB, like, a, you know, is, you know, an experiment where you give each person in the test group a sheet of paper. Okay, I mean, you could get that. Like, like there are whole classes of utterly useless, pointless experiments, um, that in theory you would have to do, by the way, since, you know, if you're not just starting with your idea of morality anyhow, you would need to test all possible actions to see whether or not they are, in fact, moral scientifically. So, I mean, there's a practical problem that you could never get through all of the testing that would have to be done. There's the practical problem that most of the stuff that's actually useful, you couldn't get past a human subject review board. Um, a bunch of stuff you'd have a really hard time actually, you know, properly doing control groups on, but that, that's kind of a, a minor thing. Uh, you've got a further problem of uh, when it comes to something as important as a morality, it doesn't really cut it to just test on, you know, a few dozen people and hope they're actually representative. Um, you know, because there have been distinct human subpopulations. And um, so you'd have to make sure that there were no evolutionary changes such that you'd have to have a different morality for, for different, you know, subpopulations of people. As well as, you know, simply like, you know, it's possible that, that tall people and short people respond differently and so on. You can't assume this stuff ahead of time. That's not scientific. You'd have to actually test it, you know, for something that's actually important. Um, th there's, okay, so there's that problem, the fact that you can't possibly ethically do any of this, or any of the important testing. Um, there, there's the problem that it would cost insane amounts of money, you, you'd never finish because of all the possible actions, and you'd have to test on giant scads of people. Uh, another practical problem that comes up uh, with doing this stuff would be um, uh, have, figuring out some way of knowing that this doesn't change because you know as people evolve you'd have to constantly retest oh another problem too uh, of course is that you'd have to have some sort of threshold where you decide that the science is reasonably settled enough because remember of course one of the great things about science is that it um corrects itself if it makes mistakes but morality is kind of important you don't want to go off you know half cocked on this so you have to establish some way of telling when the science has been reasonably settled enough that you could even use it so you then have to you know there um and, and frankly because it's about morality that itself becomes a moral question so you get something of a bootstrapping problem like when have we done enough testing to be reasonably confident that we can start doing things like imprisoning people Possibly, depending on what the science shows. Executing people, again, depending on whether or not the science shows that that's a, you know, good idea, morally speaking, and so on. Uh, you know, moral thing to do. Is that the right thing to do? Like, like when do we get to start doing this on the basis of whatever the science shows? Um, you know, like, like, how much of an obligation to people do you have to, ha to make sure that the science of your morality is reasonably well settled? Uh, you're going to have to scientifically test that, and you've got a recursion problem there. Okay, so so there, there are a whole bunch of utterly insurmountable practical problems. 
There's also a theoretical problem. Because uh, I, I, in the previous experiments I discussed, I stopped short. Um, but, you know, let, let's take it. Let's suppose that, you know, I don't know, you just shot the human subject review board because, you know, who knows yet whether or not that's even immoral. You'll find out later after the experiments. Okay, fine. So you run an experiment where your control group, you don't rape anyone, and in the test group, you do rape everyone. What do you measure? I mean, it's a scientific method. You conduct the experiment, and then you measure the outcome. Well, what are you measuring? Now, um, there, there are several things. Even if you were to... to I'm, I'm, of course, the obvious answer would be happiness. Although it's not actually, you know, as obvious as is given. Um, so, you know, you've got the first problem of happiness in the moment, happiness over time. Which one of those should you measure? What, what, what's the actual thing upon which you should grade this? Now, is it really clear that you should measure happiness versus should you measure suffering? And are you going to do happiness minus suffering? Or are you going to do happiness unless suffering is beyond a certain threshold? And there's no scientific experiment that could possibly tell you which of these measures you should be using. Science can't tell you what to measure. Science is all about how you go about measuring accurately. And there's the theoretical problem. Science doesn't give you the moral measure to use even if you could be running the relevant experiments. And there's no one obvious thing. People do differ. I mean, even, even among the sort of people who might want to try something this, frankly, absurd... Whether or not, you know, does, do you count, you know, does suffering, does, does small amounts of suffering outweigh significant amounts of happiness or not? Um, you know, what if the suffering's in one person and the happiness is in another person? How do you weight that? Um, you know, so, so like, you know, you, you get the, the classic utilitarian problems that, that um, give rise to things like the utility monster. You know, where, where uh, the utility monster is a, a person where for... Um, uh, he finds 2x happiness in 1x suffering in another person. Uh, therefore, within this thought experiment, the, the correct course of outcome is to torture everybody um, except the utility monster because, you know, his happiness goes up substantially more than their suffering and therefore the total, you know, the happiness minus suffering goes up the more you torture everybody. Um, it, it's, uh, now there are ways of getting around this with normalization, yada yada. But there's no reason to use any of these things except for choosing to. Um, so this is the real big theoretical problem, is that if you started, you would have to presuppose some sort of moral measure to even get this underway. And that's a moral choice. What measure do you use of morality is itself a moral choice to make and not something that would be subject to, you know, it'd be assuming your conclusion, essentially. And assuming your conclusion is not scientific. So, um, as I said, this, this is, it's not a deep point. Um, it's just something, I, I frankly I have this because I want to be able to reference it later in other things and, and not have to digress into that. So, um, anyway, uh, Hope you found this interesting, and until next time, may you hit everything you aim at.